My mom died last year. She died from cancer. My father been dead for 30 years. He died from cancer also. Neither one of them smoked. Neither one of them drank. I think our problem came from the pollution. We lost Mario to uh, cancer at five years old. I myself have, I'm t like I said, a 10 year survivor of breast cancer. I have asthma. Like she want to play, be a cheerleader like other kids, but can't, you know, her asthma. She been in hospitalized, especially when it's hard winds, when dust really picks up. Everybody gets sick. You know, it was just all this stuff in the air and stuff, and that's what caused their asthma. I had talked to my doctor about it. She said, maybe she said, since the stuff is in the air, she said, some of this is causing y'all conditions. It's on our porches. It's on the side of our houses. It's on the vowel side. I rinse my bricks off once a week, and you could see it running off the bricks, off the mortar. EPA came and spoke with us and told us that we're not to grow anything and eat it. My mother is a gardener. She planted and grew foods from that soil that they say was contaminated. We ate it. Just because of your circumstances and where you could afford to live, you were, you know, just you have to accept 10 times the risk of dying from cancer in 70 years. Is that fair? I mean, I think that's a question we should be asking. If I could go another area, I would. Because I want to live like everybody else. I want to live a healthy life too. Nothing sold in this area in the last 50 years. People don't live here because of the air and then the condition of the asthma and stuff. Everybody gets sick in this area. Of the house right across from me, I know three people that I know died there. By trade, I'm a pediatric nurse. I worked in peds for years and years. I saw babies coming out of Collegeville and other areas with having extreme respiratory problems, uh, retardation. I mean, we can't just keep sticking our heads in the sand and denying that we have, you know, legacy and current contamination issues out in North Birmingham. I don't want my nieces, my nephews, my grandchildren fighting the same thing that I'm fighting right now. For our lives, we fight for life, man.